This is my review of the Defender Razor. I just came across it online. I didn't even know that it existed. I guess some people like it. I think it only cost me like seven bucks to order it, which is why it just comes with the razor, really. It's got a little cover on there. Suction cup to attach it to your mirror or shower. I suppose I'm not a big fan of uh, shaving in the uh, shower. Yeah, I pulled it off, and it looks like it has three blades. Let's see if they're flexible or not. Mm, there's a little bit of flex there. Not near as much as uh, my new favorite razor, the Gillette Labs Exfoliating Bar Razor. I'm actually going to shave half my face with the uh, Gillette Exfoliating Razor and the other half with the uh, Defender just for a comparison. I am a big fan of uh, Gillette razors. I'm a really big fan of the, the new Gillette Exfoliating Razor. Even though I usually use... Let me dig in my stash here. Let's see if I can find my... Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. I usually use my Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Power. It's got like five blades and uh, just use a triple A battery that you put down there. Placement blades are a little pricey, but it doesn't get much better as far as shaving with that. So I'll put these two to the test just to test out the Defender and we'll see how it goes. I did want to show you real quick how much stubble I have. I do have a pretty thick coat. So. And I am going to shave without taking a shower just to test the true strength of the razor. I do like to use Aveeno Therapeutic Shave Gel. It's supposed to prevent razor bumps or help prevent razor bumps. Soothes dry, sensitive skin, which I do kind of have. And my stubble is very strong, so I have a perfect face to try out razors on. So we'll get to the live shave right away. Okay, I just splashed some warm water on my face and uh, I was going to let my Aveeno marinate a little bit to let it do its work. I don't know what's inside this stuff, but it works really good. Anyways, I'm going to start with the uh, Defender razor on this half of my face and if it sucks, I'll just finish shaving with it instead of shaving the other half of my face with the Gillette Exfoliating Bar razor. But if it's a good razor, I'll still use the Gillette one just to compare. I just have a feeling that it's not going to do much, but here we go. And I always shave with the grain, and then I go back against the grain for a closer, sh more comfortable shave. Ooh. Wow. Ah, man, that thing really sucks. Let me grab my jet real quick. Oh, yeah. Nope. Not much of a review on the, the Defender. Uh, razor, it really sucks. It's just really, ooh, it just plain hurts. So, quick verdict on that, I wouldn't buy it. So, it's just painful unless you're looking for a painful bloody shave. So, I'm just going to finish shaving with my uh, Gillette Exfoliating Bar Razor. I've already used it a few times. Doesn't even grab our pool. It's got the flex blades. They're pretty flexible with like one, two, three, four, five razors. I don't know about the exfoliating bar. I think it's bogus, but man, this thing really comes with some good razors. You can just really power through your shaving and get it done quick. But yeah, that Defender is garbage. Don't even think about wasting your money. Just a huge fan of this new Gillette razor. It's so fast. It's just amazing. Really, really comfortable shave. There's just so many razors out there nowadays that definitely helps to know ahead of time. So even if you can take it back for your money or have to send it back, the Defender one I can only find through the mail, so. It'll be even though it's cheap, you get what you pay for, it's still seven bucks down the drain, so I wouldn't waste your time or money. So yeah, the Defender Razor sucks, so if you see any other shaving people promoting it, then you'll know that they really don't know what they're talking about. So if they do a live shave, then I guess they have a higher pain tolerance than I do, unless they're, I don't know. Well, anyways. I shaved with the grain, so now I'm going to go back against it just to get a closer shave real quick.
There you go, all done. Just don't buy the Defender Razor. Do, do, do. I did buy this, order this through the mail, but it was only like seven or eight dollars, but I don't feel like sitting in the back. So this is the best thing to do with it. All right, good luck.